India's oldest mountain range, the Aravalis, is facing renewed environmental scrutiny following a recent change in its official definition. On November 20th, the Supreme Court accepted a Union Environment Ministry panel's new definition of the Aravli Hills, classifying only landforms rising 100 meters above local relief as Aravli, along with their slopes and surrounding land. By this definition, more than 90% of the Aravlis would no longer count as Aravli at all. And that opens the door to expanded mining and construction, threatening already fragile ecosystems and worsening the air quality across the National Capital Region. Before we dive into the details of this story, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel Down to Earth for regular coverage on environment and climate change. The Supreme Court has approved the Environment Ministry's rule that only landforms that rise 100 meters or more from the surrounding area will be counted as Aravli Hills. This order comes after years of legal cases in the National Green Tribunal. Various high courts have previously recognized many parts of the Aravlis as ecologically sensitive. Some areas have also been labeled as deemed forests. The current matter reached the Supreme Court as states and petitioners sought a uniform demarcation and common standards across Rajasthan, Gujarat, Haryana, Delhi and adjoining areas. The new definition could exclude lower-lying but ecologically connected hills and ridges, potentially removing the legal protections they currently fall under. Experts warn that this decision could trigger a chain of ecological impacts from the loss of wildlife corridors and the drying up of groundwater recharge zones to hotter local temperatures and even deeper and declining water tables in regions like Gurugram, Faridabad and Southern Haryana. They also warned that weakening this natural defence could worsen the already severe pollution choking the Delhi NCR region. The Aravli's block desert winds blowing in from the Thar, acting as Delhi NCR's natural shield against fine PM2.5 particles and heavier sand. According to a founder member of People for Aravli's, Neela Maluwalia, this could open vast stretches of the Aravli's in Gujarat, North Rajasthan and Haryana to mining, breaking the continuity of India's oldest range and worsening dust, water scarcity and extreme weather across Northwest India. Previous field studies already show the impact. In Haryana's Aravli districts, including Charki, Dadri, Bhivani and Mahindargarh, legal and illegal mining has caused severe environmental damage. The Environment Ministry maintains that the new 100-metre elevation criterion offers a scientific and uniform benchmark to define the Aravli range across multiple states and will remove long-standing ambiguity over its boundaries. The ministry says that any mining activity will be regulated and will be allowed only after detailed mapping is completed, while core ecological zones and groundwater recharge areas will remain protected. The Supreme Court has directed that scientific mapping be carried out and a framework for sustainable mining be prepared. It has also restrained the grant of new mining leases until this process is completed. However, critics caution that the impact of the decision may already be unfolding, arguing that once a landscape is effectively declassified, mining and real estate activity can move faster than restoration efforts.